Hi Aquarius. I hope everybody's doing well. Shout out to the Aquariuses I know. I know a few of you and you may or may not be watching. I know who you are. Uh, you guys crack me up. You're hilarious. And here's even better news, you guys. This is going to be an awesome month for you. Like a lot of people, because the sun is in Pisces for most of March, it's a weird month. It's not even it's just weird. It's it, Everybody's going like down deep to the cellar of their souls and figuring out what the hell they want and where they're going. But with you guys, you are the people that are going to be sharing your insights, sharing your voice, sharing your energy, sharing uh, all your intuitive uh, gifts with the world. I think a lot of you are going to feel very high energy. You're going to feel like you've coming back to your own. Part of that is, you know, you you had, you know, this you just had your birthday last month, um, and you're feeling fresh. You know, it's kind of a fresh new year for you. You've had your birthday. You know, you've gone through kind of the revolution of going deep and thinking about what you want, and now you're the social butterflies. Now, good luck getting everybody else out. You might find that a lot of people want to stay home because they have a lot to think about. They have a lot to think about. And they are struggling to get all the answers. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, if you do, if people aren't returning your phone calls, don't take it personally. The sun is in Pisces and that means people are getting deep. It's just... It's just the way it works sometimes, you know, but like people are really going to, I think that the big thing with you guys this month is you are going to be such a boon to people who need a little bit of a lift and a boost uh, because it's, it is a heavy month. It is a month of really going deep. And so, you know, you having your energy around, having your insight around, having your energy, your, your fun, bright, oh, you guys look. This happened last month too. You and this magician are really getting it on, you guys. I like it. I like it a lot because I do think this matches your energy in 2017. I think that you guys are just in this like powerful time where like pieces are just coming together. You're seeing things in that revolutionary way. You see things. You're doing things in that revolutionary way. You're tweaking old patterns and making something new out of them and this is like here you are you're like the social magician and here's here you are again you're just feeling fresh you're feeling feisty and you know here's the thing you guys you are the gift this month you guys are the gift like you are going to be the people that everybody wants to be around and Part of that is going to be the fresh way you see things. I would not be surprised if a lot of you had some like really those kind of ideas that just come to you in the middle of the night and you write them down and they're brilliant. Mm hmm. It's going to be you guys this month. Lucky, lucky, lucky. And actually, you know, speaking of that. We have this judgment card here, and I love the judgment card, especially when it comes to you guys, because clarity of insight, an aha moment. And this card has been coming out a lot this month for a lot of signs, because this is, a, Pisces is a revolutionary sign, just like you guys are. You know, they're your neighbor. And they are also about the aha moment. They are also about the big collective energy and how we can do things in a way that is informed by a spiritual and soulful center and still be here doing stuff. And I think you guys are going to really be connecting with some kind of big message. How exciting is that? <gasps> All right, so already we're off to a freaking rocking start. I'm having so much fun with your energy, you guys, this month. I'm so happy that you are feeling good. I hope you are. I hope you are. Now, let's talk about one of the little undertones uh, that is going to be in this month with you guys and just something to be aware of, something to take a little bit of time with, and that is that, you know, think about anything that feels like it's a waste of time. It could be something like being on a committee or, uh, you know, just taking on that extra, uh, up, that extra responsibility, something you don't have to do, but you like to do it all, you like to try different things. 
think about that because there is an element here coming out of feeling a little bit worn down. It's like, you know, what comes with being the social butterfly that everybody looks to to have like answers and ideas and things like that. One little downside, right, is that sometimes it makes you a little tired. It makes you feel a little bit like you're holding the fort down and that you have to be the one who's helping people figure out their ideas and you have to be the one who's holding it, holding it together. And, you know, this is a really good month to think about anything that's pulling you down, anything that feels like a waste of time, anything that when you think about it, it just kind of, you're just like, oh, do I have to? You know, if you have that and you're feeling that and it keeps coming up, just listen to that because it's causing you to have this, this like undertow to your overall luck and good, good humor that you're going to be having. There is this. There is this, and I do think that, you know, for some of you that do have some weights on your shoulders, and for some of you who have been trying to problem solve your way out of feeling a little bit worn down, you might be really feeling that this month, even while you're being social and stuff, that might be really coming out of the woodwork for you. So don't be surprised if that is part, and you kind of have this dualistic thing of being like, I feel amazing, I'm so great, like I have all these ideas, I'm feeling energetic, I wanna get people together, I want everybody to be happy, I wanna be everybody collectively doing wonderful stuff together, because that is you, Aquarius. If anybody can get a good party together, it is you. And you probably will be doing that, but you might also have under the surface when you get in bed at night, have a little bit of that weight. So don't be surprised about that. Um, you know, a lot of people are, we're all going to be affected by this Venus in retrograde, which starts on March 4th and goes to April 15th. And it's in the sign of Aries to start out with. Um, for you, you know, you actually are going to be having more forward movement than a lot of signs. Um, and, you know, I say that because, you know, we have a couple of these nights here. And for me, nights are always about movement. It's always about chugging away at projects figuring out ways to do it. I like this Knight of Swords for you guys. It's very um, playful and bright and and determined. And, and I think it really fits with your energy of like, you know, being kind of the maverick. Um, I also like that we have this Knight of Pentacles here too. For those of you who have a lot of work on and you're finally, your career is in a good place and you're, you're really doing a lot of work, that slow and steady groundedness, I think is really gonna, is gonna serve you well because you're not going to just burn your candle at both ends. You're, you're also going to be able to sit down and, you know, get the nuts and bolts in order. And so these two combined, I mean, great energy right here, you guys. I think work is going to be very promising for you. A lot of you are going to be reconnecting with the work that you do in the world. Now, you are going to also get some insights. And this is what I was talking about. You know, we got the magician and the fool right off the bat, right? This is part of this. This is part of this experience right here. You are going to be cutting into the very core of things. You guys already have this like intuitive knowing. You already like to get to the bottom of something and figure it out. This is part of that magician energy. You are putting pieces together and getting answers. And, you know, honestly, too, I think you guys are going to be great friends this month. I think you're going to help a lot of people that are other signs and have other energies in their lives get some aha moments themselves. Like, I think you guys will be some of the instruments to helping people find answers for their own quandaries. Like, you might get some extra phone calls from friends who just need somebody who's great at listening and great at coming up with interesting, cool, unique ways to move forward. Now, one thing to watch out for too, okay, so we talked about how you might feel a little weighed down underneath the surface, and, and if a lot of friends are coming at you and wanting, you know, keep your boundaries healthy, you know how to do that. Um, one thing also to watch out for is feeling a little bit like you have to impose this energy on people, okay? You are going to be feeling good. You're going to feel like celebrating. You're going to feel like sharing your ideas. You're going to feel very strong in who you are, very strong. Uh, some people even might find it a little bit, you know, you might not have felt as strong as you're going to feel this month. And some people might be kind of shocked by it. 
you know, when the emperor comes up, I really like this energy because it is strong. It is confident. It is it is very much knowing where you want to go and how you're going to go about it. But, you know, the emperor is also a little bit domineering and very intense. You know, emperor is not messing around. Look at this guy. And I think some of you are going to come off that way. So, you know, just watch, watch what you say sometimes. Don't push people too hard. Um, you know, you guys are able to do kind of weird, interesting things, but not everybody wants to, to go down your, your path, right? And, and you're going to be feeling so good, you're going to want to take everybody with you on that ride. And believe me, I'll go on that ride with you. As a Leo, you know, I'm your opposite sign, and I love to connect with you guys because you guys really do bring um, a sense of fun and surprise to everything, and it, it's, it's very refreshing to be around you. Um, but, you know, you, you are going to be really a strong presence this month because so many people are going to be going down the rabbit hole. Yeah, so you're going to be the life of the party. So just keep that in mind. Other people are, you know, in a totally different vibe from you. So, you know, you're going to be the emperor and they're going to be, I don't know what, somewhere else. So, oh my gosh, you guys, just, just clarity of vision. That's all I can say. Now I'm going to do something a little different with you guys. I have here the Le Normand tarot deck. Uh, she was Napoleon's reader and she illustrated these and they're very cool. And we're going to pull one card to finish out this reading, give you a nice little final message. Oh, and very interesting. Eight of pentacles came up here. So there's an earthy energy going on for you guys this month. I think, I think a lot of you are just going to be finding new ways to work new ways to make situations in this material world work for you. And you're going to feel like you're really accomplishing things and building something and building that life that you want and building those friendships and building those relationships and building those home environments. And the Eight of Pentacles is all about that. It's all about getting down and doing it. And I think because you're feeling social and you're feeling creative and you're feeling celebratory, it makes working on the things you want in your life feel really fun. So there's a festive kind of atmosphere to your, to your month. All right, you guys, that is a fun reading. I had the most fun doing your reading this month of anybody because you're so positive. I love you guys. I'm going to put my website and my email below if you want to get in touch with me, you have questions, you're wondering how to do a personal reading with me. Um, I would be happy to hear from you guys. And I will see you in April. Have an awesome month having fun, you guys. I hope I run into some of you in March. That would be awesome. All right, bye.